Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be going over some of my favorite tactical jeans. As a blue jean operator, I feel like I'm doing a disservice to you guys by not having a video on this earlier, but I feel like I finally have enough time with a couple different brands to finally give you guys an educated opinion on this. So what's the difference between tactical jeans and like your standard jeans that you might buy at your local Walmart? Well, the main difference that I have found is that tactical jeans generally have uh, more pockets that are more conducive to running a firearm. So typically they have like an extra back pocket like you see here where you can store magazines like your AR-15 mags or your AK mags and you can easily grab them there. Uh, some have different pockets like places to put multi-tools and whatever your other tactical knickknacks might be and they are also typically a built a little bit tougher and have a little bit more of an athletic cut to them and or have a little bit more of a stretchy material to them so you know your legs don't get all caught up whenever you're doing all your tactical stuff They're essentially the chuck norris pants of today but in this video i'm just going to be going over three different brands of jeans that i have tried out over the years and what i have found to work out the best for me it's not really like a top three video even though at the end i'm and tell you guys like what I think the best bang for your buck is when it comes to purchasing these tactical jeans because they are a little bit more expensive than you know something you might buy at Walmart but you know this is all just gonna be based off of my opinions but before we get into it a word from our sponsors. Today's video is sponsored by Core Belts. I absolutely love these belts. I have a video on these things I did a while back and what's really cool about these is that you can cut these to your exact size. They come a little bit longer in the mail. They give you a measuring tape. You cut it to your size and you know, you have a belt that is tailored directly to you. And what's really cool about them is they have this track system on there and you can cinch this down to your size um, a lot faster and easier than some other belts on the market. I have a link down below that if you put your information in there, it'll get you entered into winning one of these belts and that is monthly. And it'll also get you entered into getting a cool little care package from our next sponsor, Americana Pipe Dream, which I'm super excited about. I love those guys. From what I hear, they have a surplus of these M81 Whoobies. This is the one thing that never leaves me whenever I go out into the field. So if you guys wanna get yourself a Whoobie or any other type of cool surplus gear, go over to Americana Pipe Train and if you use code BLUEJEAN at checkout, it'll get you 10% off your entire order there. So go check out Core and go check out Americana Pipe Dream. All right guys, so like I said before, I'm gonna be going over three different brands that I've been using um, and have just found to work well for me, starting off with the cheapest one of the three and that is gonna be from 511. So contrary to popular belief, 511 actually makes some uncringe products. Um, I'm a fan of some 511 stuff and I think a lot of the hate that they get is from some of the people they choose to associate with, but I do like their jeans. I think they make um, you know, a solid pair of tactical jeans that are not too costly. These things cost about 70 bucks. And you know they have the typical back pocket right here for any of your magazines. Um, and they work out well, they're very durable. And what I like most about the 511s is that they're good for wearing when it's a little bit hotter out. Some of these other jeans I'm gonna show you guys here are a little bit thicker and are better for more colder environments. And your legs won't sweat as much in these and they have that typical kind of stretchy material to them. So your legs are not gonna get all caught up. And I think that the 511 jeans are if you're just looking for a cheaper pair of um, tactical jeans, I think that these are a solid way to go. They also have a ton of different sizing options so you can get your exact size. They also have a bunch of different colors uh, so you can get whatever your style is. And they also have a couple different cuts like you can get straight cut, uh, skinny jeans if you want as well. And you know, 5 makes good tactical jeans. Moving down the table here, these are some ones that are fairly new to me. I got these a few months ago, and this is from a company called Prism, and they make solid jeans as well. And I, what I like most about these jeans is that they have extra pockets that some of these other ones don't. Um, as you can see on the front here, you have extra pocket right there, which you can put, you know, I guess a tourniquet in maybe, or a multi-tool or whatever other tactical gizmo you have. And you also have your standard kind of mag uh, pockets on the back here. And these are nice. These are probably the one of the more comfortable jeans on the table here but they are a little bit more expensive. These things cost about 150 bucks, which I think is a little pricey for them. These are very, you know, fit and feel wise, very similar to the 511s. But what I think the 511 actually has an edge on these on 
is the sizing. So Prism is a smaller company and they are not as flexible in the sizing. They only come in like, this is like a 34. Typically I wear a 34, 36 um, for my exact size, which I can get in the 511s and these next ones I'm gonna show you guys. But this ones are just 34 and then 36 and 36 was like good length for me, but also the waist on them was just a little bit too big. So I had to stick with the 34s. The length's fine, but I would prefer them to be a little bit longer. I don't really have the option to get like a custom size like that. But overall, good jeans, a little pricey. But if you're looking for something that's gonna be able to carry a lot of stuff in a low profile manner, uh, these jeans are pretty good. All right, moving down the table here to our last pair of jeans. They're actually the same ones that I have on right now. These are just a little bit newer. These are from Varstaleka or Sarma, which is like their clothing line. These are from Finland, so you know they're gonna be built rough and tough. These are by far the most durable jeans that I've ever seen. I have worn these things for plenty of range videos out here. I've actually worn these out at a Milsom West as well, where I wore these for a couple days. And these things, I have yet to be able to destroy them. Cross four! Cross four! Uh, they can see they're a bit faded compared to like what I have on right now. The reason I got a new pair of these things is because I wanted them a little bit longer. Um, I ended up getting these are 34, 36s. So what's really cool about Varsaleka in their jeans is that you do have a flexibility in your sizing. Son of a bitch! They also come in a couple of different colors. I wouldn't say that they come in as wide a variety of colors as either these two jeans, but you know, if I was to go out in the woods and pick like a pair of jeans to wear, it would definitely be the ones from Varsaleka. And what's also kind of uh, unique about these things is they don't have a zipper. They have these um, buttons on here, which I could see is for durability. These things won't bust as easy as a zipper will. Um, sometimes a little bit of a pain in the ass to get undone and do. Um, I could see what I did it. I do still kind of prefer a zipper, <laughs> but uh, it makes it less of a pain in the ass when I'm trying to take a piss. But overall, um, I think the Varsaleka jeans um, are probably the best bet for you guys because these things only cost a hundred bucks So they're right in the middle between the 511s and the prism jeans And I think if you're looking for like jeans to actually use in a rough environment like this and not want to worry about You know ripping them as easy. I would go with these. You know, that's just my opinion You might have another pair that you like which feel free to comment down below um, Maybe I'll check them out, but hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did, please consider dropping a like and subscribing. You can also follow me on Instagram at Blue Gene Operator or go to my website, thebluegeneoperator.com to find some cool shirts and merch which helps to support the channel. Also, if you guys want to support the channel directly, I have Patreon which helps me buy ammo, guns, gear, all that stuff that goes into running a YouTube gun channel and uh, also get you access into a uh, secret Discord chat server where we'll talk about cool stuff. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time.